Hello and welcome to another update video just before or around actually the daily candle close as we're heading into the weekend looks like it may become a boring Saturday like last week yeah um, and possibly the week before we typically have like nine out of ten Saturdays are pretty boring from a crypto point of view now that's great because it gives me the time to focus on other stuff and uh, work on some of the stuff in the background that we're working on uh, as a team um, looking at Bitcoin, there is not much more to add to the last video, which is great. Just want to add a few bits and pieces in terms of strategy here. So first of all, just to repeat, there are probably three highly probable scenarios I'm watching here at the moment. They are, however, are all pointing towards this area as support area, which gives us a great opportunity um, for a possible scale in in support and scale out in resistance as we then go higher so i think we've got some great opportunities ahead of us in the next few weeks um to make some money which doesn't mean we will make money yeah <laughs> always important to highlight that similar message as in the ethereum video uh, of course this setup needs to work out but um you know we've got the scenario still and it's not invalidated that this could still be a one two setup of the fifth wave yeah i've it's not primary expectation anymore because it's come down a bit too much and it hasn't given us any indication it's bottomed but this could still be an extension of the fifth wave into the 30k region it hasn't been invalidated because it hasn't broken below the low of the 13th of feb so that is still a possibility yeah one two three four five um then we've got the possibility that this wave four was never finished so that we had an a wave down here a B wave to the upside into the 16th of February high. Now we're coming down in a C wave um, pos or WXY. Um, then the wave four is finished here and we then we do go up then in a five wave move. Yeah, maybe also to around 29K. That's possible also because this fifth wave was very short. I did highlight my concerns about that many times. Um, and then and then we've got the possibility that we could already be in the wave two that this wave five of one was finished and this is now in um, maybe the A wave, there will be a B wave and a C wave. Now, it's a rare occurrence that of three highly probable scenarios, we have similar support areas here, okay? Now, I know a lot of people wanna know the one count, you know, what's the count? And if, if the primary expectation wasn't correct, then you know, the analysis is wrong and stuff like that, which is of course rubbish because um, you know, uh, they are all highly probable. And in theory, you can get an infinite amount of probabilities and possibilities here. But my skill and the skill of an analyst is to identify those two or three, which are highly likely. And the great thing is if they do align in a certain range, that's an opportunity. And um, yeah, I think we are fairly close to a low here. I would like to see one more or two more lows. Um, ideally, yeah, as long as we stay below 22,784, that's uh, likely. And then we will have some kind of a support area here, starting at around 21,530, going all the way down to around, I would say around 20K. Yeah, Below 20K, I would like to be out again if I start to scale in here. Um, so it's again, it's about scaling in, scaling out. Um, I've highlighted on Discord and Telegram what I plan to do. I might refine that tomorrow. Um, when I have a bit of time because tomorrow is probably a quiet day. <laughs> never say never, um, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, this is a key area of support and you can see all these Fibonacci levels that are, that are you know, pointing towards here. I haven't even shown all of them. There's, an, there's one more that points also directly here at the 21.5K level, uh, another one. So there are, and we've got the previous way for low. So there is some opportunity here to trade some upside, I think. Um, I would not be too picky about certain entries here and to try to pick the perfect low. Um, and I would try to make it easy, you know, for, for yourselves as well. Don't try to, you know, wait for the absolute lowest low and then it never comes. And then you don't want to go in again because it showed already some upside, um, you know, scaling in, scaling out. Make sure you know when you want to be out and uh, make sure that you don't risk too much, that you don't risk more than 3% of your portfolio in a single trade. At least that's what I do and my recommendation but again, I know a lot of people <laughs> risk 30% or so in a single trade, which is absolutely crazy, but you know, never, you know, it's up to everybody individually, right? It's, uh, but um, yeah, so looking for, forward to that and uh, looking into the micro level here, 
yeah, I think we might have seen here an A wave, might have seen a B wave and the C wave still to come that might unfold tomorrow. Ideal target for a fourth wave would be the 38.2 FIP level. We talk about 22,598 here. Minimum requirement for a fourth wave is done. That was 22,369. And uh, the maximum it should really do is 22,784. I'm looking forward to maybe reaching the 38.2 level. That would be ideal before coming down. But, you know, this is really um, digging into the detail here. What I also shared with you in the previous video, and that's still relevant, you know, this could be the third wave down, this could be the fourth and one more wave down, but it could also be that we had a, a one, two, one, two setup here, and that actually this third wave or circle wave three is actually gonna sit there, wave four will be there and five, so that we need actually two more lows. There's so a one more low for three, then another wave four, that might even unfold tomorrow then, you know, different possibilities here on the micro level and then one more wave down yeah so basically two waves down we, we would need based on this count but don't get too confused you know make it easy for yourself don't get too stressed scale into support scale scale out in resistance you know um, obviously the higher you scale in the smaller the position size should be um, but do your maths you know understand where you need to set your stop loss Define your position size based on the technical targets as well and the stop loss and make sure you understand how much you want to risk per, per trade and, you know, start to scale in and set a few limit orders here. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, and I might refine that tomorrow and then post that on Discord and Telegram and might reactivate my, my grid bot here again again. Now that I've got a bit of clarity, switched it off yesterday when I saw it coming below 23k. Um, because I didn't know at the time, are we breaking down completely? But now that I have a bit more clarity about the subwave structure and count, I will activate it closer to support again to trade some possible upside. Um, and yeah, looking forward to that. And then I had a, a couple of comments, you know, about, you know, it, it can't go up anymore because we are in a recession and whatever. Again, um, it doesn't matter if we are in a recession. It's, there's absolutely no correlation between stock market performance really and, and recessions at least um, it, well there might be some correlation but not in terms of that you can use it really in a reliable way we've had bear markets and I'm not talking about crypto because I think crypto has never really seen a recession but obviously human sentiment is the same in every market so um, crypto is just a bit more volatile but we've seen you know bull markets at the end of recessions we've seen bull markets at the beginning of recession start you know we've got there is no it's just talk you know it's just for the for the headlines it's just for clickbait that people love to talk about this stuff and the the market is the leading indicator when the market starts to recover then the economy will follow you know it's it's not the other way around it's not like oh we're in a recession the markets are going down it's not like that you wait for a bear market <laughs> to start and when the recession is starting and you see it on the in the news that the recession is there and oh my god everything is is crashing no it's actually the other way around yeah um so the you know the crypto bear market started in 2021 um and you see the state of the economy now right and it's 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 the other way around the market is the leading on indicator always forward looking and at the time when the economists and the fundamental analysts have realized that the markets are going up um <laughs> <laughs> then it's often too late, right? Okay, but that's uh, my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.